Hey guys, it's me Luca. Welcome to my stamina source and PvP build for the Flames of Ambition patch. I'll show you two non-proc setups. The first one is a medium armor one with Brawler as spammable. The second one is a more heavy tanky setup with the classic spammable this swing. So let's get started. Here we go. First setup, 5 impregnable armor with 3 well fitted and 2 impen. Of course full tristed glyphs. Then 1 chest piece with trainee and heavy armor. Spriggan on the front bar with a 2H great sword in Nirn. You could also use a maul instead for the extra penetration, but I prefer personally the weapon damage for extra healing. Then endurance on the back bar with sword and board. As you can see on jewelry I'm in full infused with weapon damage glyph. You could also use one cost reduction or one stun regen glyph if you have sustain issues or for non-CP for example. In terms of skills, nothing crazy, reverse slice or AOE execute. Bound armaments for extra stamina and stamina regen and health regen. Then Brawler, our AOE spammable. Turn Evil, our AOE fear. And Rally our Burst Heal and we also gain Major Brutality. Then of course Stormback of Smiting, one of the strongest ulti. Then on the back bar Shuffle for Major Evasion. Race Against Time for Minor Force and Major Expedition. Then our Heal of course Vigor. And here of course Hurricane instead of Boundless Storm, I just failed here with the wrong morph. So don't worry. Uh, dark deal for extra sustain and a burst heal. And spare wall our sword and board ult. As race I'm Imperial here. Especially for the 6% cost reduction on every skill, also ultimate. You could also go for Nord or uh, Org. I'm using the Warrior Mundus, Steed or Lava should be also fine. The Ateum Takeaway Broth is buffed. And this juicy potions, the resistance one, they are really really OP. Are they this one? Over 5k resistance. Pretty pretty damn strong. Now let's take a look at the CPs. The green ones are irrelevant, so let's check the blue ones. Biting Aura with 10% more AoE damage. Then Enduring Resolve, 10% damage reduction on dots. Duelist Rebuff, 10% damage reduction on single target attacks. And last one, 10% damage reduction on AoEs. Rejuvenation for Sustain. Ironclad for the extra armor and slippery to automatically CC break and Juggernaut of course for 10% damage reduction if you are CC immune. Now let's take a look at an easy and useful PvP combination which is in general necessary in PvP. So let's go. Start with a fully charged heavy attack to empower Dawnbreaker, then Dawnbreaker of course, a light attack Brawler, a light attack AoE here, light attack Slice into Bash. You don't have to bash but it's an extra damage so why not. And that's all, easy right? Second showcase. Like I said before, a more tanky setup. I use Beekeeper here, which gives us a ton of extra HP and health recovery. Full impen by the way. Then one Kina on the shoulders, medium. One Barlog mask, well fitted. And the second 5 piece set bonus is Hiking Drauge. <laughs> 
full infused weapon damage, like before. Great sword front bar. Like I said before, you can also use a mole, doesn't matter to be honest, or axe. Sword mod back bar again, with brutality poisons, which gives us minor brutality, so 10% more extra weapon damage. If you already have access to minor brutality through a DK, then you can also use escapist poisons or something else. In terms of skills, executioner instead of reverse slice, bound armaments like before, then dizzy swing instead of brawler, camouflage hunter, keep in mind you have to flank an enemy for minor berserk, and it also gives you major savagery so 10% more crit, rally, same stuff, and dawnbreaker, on the back bar, armaments again, instead of shuffle, race against time, vigor, and of course hurricane, not bound by storm, dark deal, and spell all. This time I'm a Nord here, it's a little bit more tanky than imperial, it gives 2.6k physical and spell resistance, so pretty nice. Mundus, same stuff, warrior, same buff food, and same attributes points. Of course, again, the resistance potions. They're just too juicy, guys. Use it. CPs, just one change. Instead of biting aura, daily aim. That's all. Another PvP combination for this kind of build. Light attack into Dizzy Swing to off balance. Then fully charged heavy attack to empower the Dawnbreak again. Light attack, execute into bash. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Last but not least guys, I will show some tips and tricks how to survive longer in PvP. Especially as a new player, it's pretty hard to know how to behave in a under pressure or stress situation. So first rule guys, try to go line of sight. If you see a stone, a rock, a tree, a crate or something else, doesn't matter, just go line of sight. Try to kite around as long as possible and do never, never ever stay open field, naked like a Bambi. Use your environment as your advantage. If you don't have access to go line of sight, then try to stay behind the enemy. It's pretty damn hard to focus someone if you literally touch his back. So in terms of survivability, movement is the key guys. Second point, keep up your buffs. Mage evasion for 15% uh, AOE damage reduction, rally your burst heal, vigor of course, hurricane your armor buff, and dark deal, which is essential for sustain, not so nice bursty to be honest. But watch out, if you're not uh, CC immune, you can get bashed, which cancels the uh, animation, the channel. Third point, which is also pretty important, use as many heavy attacks as possible to regain sustain. Best case scenario, of course, would be a fully charged heavy attack on the front bar with a 2H to recover even more stamina. It happens often that you are stuck in a position surrounded by 20 players, 10 sieges and 100 degrees on the ground. Then you have to swap your position as fast as possible, of course. Try to keep up your buffs before. If you're lucky, you have a sword and board ult, a spell wall. Then roll dodge once, twice or three times in a row, it doesn't matter. Just try to use your stamina to, to escape the trouble. I personally died like 1 or 200 times with 50 or 60% stamina left. Don't do the same mistake guys. Use your resource effectively to escape the trouble. Thanks for watching guys. See ya in the next video. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I forgot something. Subscribe guys. Like the video. Blah blah. You know the stuff. See ya.